I have no script for this video. I just plan on getting this video out so that way I can spread the word on what's going on right now. So recently I got a copyright claim on my re recent video when I was talking about the trailer for A Dog's Purpose. One of those movies where Hollywood knows that kids like dogs put it into a movie and make millions off of whatever family was forced to watch the movie by their kids. So when I first noticed this copyright claim, my first idea was, well, to dispute it because my video was in fair use. So I was pretty pissed off when I found out they tried making money off of a video that I created because they put on an ad for my video just so they can get monetization or ad revenue from it. But since I created the video, of course I'm going to dispute the claim because, well, if I can't make money, why should they? It's my video. The one who filed this copyright claim was Universal Pictures Zephyr. Upon doing more research, I found out that Zephyr actually seemed to have claimed a lot of other videos. Or, that's at least what my assumption is. I'm guessing that once Zephyr gets control over all these videos, they get to put their name in the title, seemingly trying to credit that these people are behind it. It's such a shame because there's some great content out there that sometimes relies on movies to make videos and... It's hard to make those videos when you have to deal with stuff like copyright claims and strikes. Strangely enough though, when I made a video on the Emoji Movie trailer, I didn't really seem to have any problems with it. So I'm sure many of you have heard by now that Sony came out with a trailer for the Emoji Movie, and at this point, I think it's safe to say that emojis yeah, have become absolutely toxic exactly. towards society. Maybe it's because Sony has the rights to the Emoji Movie, and I guess Universal's Pictures has the rights to A Dog's Purpose. It is because of this I'm starting to leave more sources in the description. Which I think is right too, I should have been doing that anyways, but the entire thing about this whole entire copyright claim is still, it still bothers me because, you know, my video wasn't fair use. I don't plan on changing up my content just to satisfy someone because I like the way I make my videos, but I am going to be a bit more careful the way I upload. My next video wasn't going to be movie related, but that doesn't mean I'm done with movies or movie trailers. Until then, I'm just going to try working out this copyright claim. And let's just hope that I can get it all fixed up in the end.